So Apple removed Fortnite from the App Store. So you can't play Fortnite. But I have a way that we can download it. So let's talk about it. What's up YouTube, this is Jason here with Red Bee Labs and welcome to the channel. So ever since this big Apple epic legal battle started, which was if you're not paying attention, is um, Epic decided to update its app and they added an in-app purchase which was discounting the price of the V-Bucks and the payments went through them, which circumvented the 30% cut that Apple gets and uh, Apple was not having that. So they decided to remove Fortnite from the App Store and then thus the big legal battle has begun. Now I know a lot of people are saying, hey, you know what, Fortnite's cool, but you know, play some alternatives like, you know, Call of Duty Mobile or PUBG. But I mean, if Fortnite was your game, you, you, you know, you want to play your game. And also, you know what, you're, you're innocent in all this. You know, this isn't your fault. You know, you're probably pissed because, hey, you didn't tell Epic to try to circumvent Apple and then have Apple pull the um, game. I mean, you just want to play, spend your money, have fun. Okay, before I get into telling you exactly how to download the game to your iOS device, there is a caveat. So, if you have never downloaded the game on an iOS device before under your Apple ID, well, this is not going to work for you. Um, you had to have downloaded it at one time. So if you have downloaded it or offloaded it before, then you are good to go and these are the steps to get you going. So, so step one, grab your iOS device and head over to the App Store. Step two is tap your profile pic or the initials in the top right hand corner of the device. Step three, now you wanna tap on purchases. Now, once you're into purchases, you're gonna see a long list of apps and I want you to look for Fortnite. Tap the little cloud download icon and Fortnite will start installing onto your iOS device. Step five, click open or find Fortnite, the, the icon of Fortnite on your home screen and tap it and you're good to go. Now, I'm sure some of you are saying, I mean, this is how you always get your apps back. You delete them if you want to go into your purchases and bring them back or go to the App Store and download them. But since Fortnite is no longer in the App Store, you can't just go to the App Store and download it. You got to go through your purchases. And that way you can just click that and have it downloaded. Now, I mean, me personally, when I found this, I was kind of shocked because I said, wait, wait, why, why wouldn't Apple somehow block it from even being re-downloaded back to your device, even though you know, you've purchased it and it's in your purchases. But... I guess Apple can't do it, or they won't do it, or I don't know. But either way, I'm glad they did. Now, obviously, this will not get you the new season of Fortnite that's releasing on August 27th, but you still get to play Fortnite, so that's a win. Question of the day, what do you think about the Apple Epic Legal Battle going on? Leave me your comments below. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope that this tip really helps you out. You guys get back into playing some Fortnite. And uh, I'm going to have another video that shows you how to install it on Android devices. So be staying tuned for that. Um, if you found value in this video, if you could click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content I release. Also, if you could smash that like button, leave me a comment or two or share this video. You would be the awesome, awesome, awesome person that makes my day. And as always, this is Jason. And I'll catch you in the next one.